morning grades for elementary. This is the Bulldog News for Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. My name is Jillian. And I'm Ayla. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's news in Bulldog events. Kindergarten goes to Hickory. Fourth grade goes to the Corn Maze. Our food drive is now underway. Please bring non-perishable items to the school to fill your box. Items that are out of date will not count toward filling your box. Remember to be prepared every day. Act responsibly. Keep safe and respect others. The Bulldog reward for October will be tomorrow. Share your Bulldog pride by being responsible and dependable. Lost and found. Here are the lost and found items that we have. Put your name and initials on your items so if they get lost, they can be returned to you. It's a little boot. Lunch today will be Lunchable or Chicken Nuggets, Tossed Salad, Applesauce Cup, Refried Beans and Milk. Today's breakfast, Thursday's breakfast will be pancakes, strawberry applesauce, cup, grape juice, and milk. Today's weather will be cloudy with a high of 62. Wellness Wednesday. Here's Ms. Pratt for Wellness Wednesday. Good morning and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. As you can see, I'm here in the lobby with our beautiful food drop boxes. A big thank you to Mrs. Lasher and her art students who helped to refurbish them and get them ready for this year's food drive. So you might want to know, we took these notes home last week. Why are we doing a food drive? Why is that part of wellness? Well, there's something called seven dimensions of wellness and one of them is social or community wellness. So this is a way for us to collect food and give back to our community. All the food, canned food and drinks and so forth that you bring in, we're donating to the local pantry, which is located at one of the local churches here in Grantsville. So that people who need food, who don't have food in their house on a regular basis, can go to the pantry and they can get what they need in order to have food in their house. I spoke with someone who works with the food um, pantry last week and she assures me that there is more need than we, we would really realize. So anything will be a, a help. I'm going to have a little friendly com, uh, competition between the classes. So far this morning, the only class that has anything in their box is kindergarten. So way to go kindergarten. And, this, and the class that collects the most items each can, each bag of noodles, whatever you bring in, who, whichever class has the most will win um, a prize of the choosing of their actual classroom teacher. So it could be maybe you'll have popcorn in a movie or some extra recess or something like that. So there is a little bit of an incentive for you to bring in your items. As you can see, we're gonna collect clear through November 11th. So if your parents are coming to parent conference, next monday that would be a great time for them to bring your items in that way you don't have to try to haul heavy cans and big bulky pieces or, or, or jugs of juice or whatever in your backpack and try to get them here so if you can remember remind your parents when you're coming to a parent conference if you're going to donate that would be a great time to do that the next thing i wanted to congratulate a few of our grantsville students who participated in last year's play hard live clean program they were invited, all medal winners from last year's program were invited to the Northern football game last Friday evening and were invited out onto the field at halftime to be recognized for their achievements. 
And I'm, I'm proud and happy to say we did have three people from Grantsville come, go out in the field and be recognized. And that was Miss Alexis Merle Jack in fifth grade. It was Miss Emma Rollman, and it was also Jack Carey. And I was pleased and happy and proud that you were there. We are going to do the Play Hard, Live Clean program again this year. It looks like we'll be starting in January, just after we come back from our winter break, and we'll run it for three months. So everybody has the opportunity to participate in this program. That's it, I'll see you next week. Happy birthday to Luke Ritchie, Aubrey Kenner, and Mason Seabold. If we announce your birthday in the morning news, please stop by the store, school store for your birthday pension. Quote of the day, there is no substitute for hard work. Thomas Edison. Tune in.